Hi, sweet friends. Welcome back. And if you're new here, my name's Rebecca. Some of you had stated in my last booth video that you wanted to see some updates. This is how you seen the booth on the last visit. Be sure and stay tuned to the end of this video for a great budget-friendly tip. Hi, sweet friends. Welcome, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Rebecca, welcome. And all of you who return to watch my videos, uh, you know that I much appreciate it and love to hear from you. When you leave me comments and let me know that you like this kind of content. Now, today is a thrift flip, meaning that the items that I found, uh, sometimes I find something that I just want to keep from my home and I'll let you know. I'm going to share with you some items that I found from uh, garage sales. Let me get you adjusted so you'll be able to see all of the items entirely. All right, we were on our way Saturday. Larry was off of work and we were on our way to his sister's uh, that we were going to, now I did no kind of filming, you know, they, they don't want the camera on them and all that. We were on our way. They are clearing out a lot of things and they said that we could go through it uh, to find some items for either our home or for uh, our booth. So we were happy to do that and visit with them as well. But on our way, we got there a little early. We were to meet up at about 11 o'clock and we got there a little early. So I, we seen a yard sale sign. So we, we stopped at two, but I only really scored at finding some items at one because the other one was, you know, priced to something ridiculous. And so, you know, I wished her luck on her yard sale and moved on to the next one. So I'm gonna share with you what I found. Some of these items you're gonna see me put in my booth today, because I'm gonna get them priced and run them down. So I was so happy to find some of these items. And let me just say, within the first three days that I put up my booth, and it has really been picked over. A lot of stuff, I think one whole wall was pretty much all the all the prim shower curtains are gone. I had those marked at, uh, I called them a custom a shower curtain because they were a regular shower curtain in the primitive homespun material. And I added a matching valance to it to give it a little definition and about six more inches that it would hang the whole length of the shower, you know, where you, the, the tub and the floor meet because I, I don't like it hanging too short. So both of those sold, the red and the black one sold for $45 each. Uh, somebody did take the black star hooks that went with them for $12, and I don't think the burgundy ones were taken. Maybe they didn't see them there. Two of the little end tables that Larry had made Solid wood, I had $35 a piece on those, those are gone. Uh, some fabric that I had uh, wrapped up uh, in little bundles, a lot of the fabric. I put out some quilt magazines at $2 each, three of those sold, and just n numerous items, but I'm gonna take you with me when I go down there and see <laughs> what kind of disaster it, it is because I've got some more items uh, to go in there for summer. So that whole wall that was primitive is now going to be a nautical theme. I have some nautical items that I had in my home that I no longer use, and I'm taking those down there. Also, believe it or not, since that wall was gonna be a nautical wall, guess what I found at a yard sale? 
So that's what I'm gonna share with you right now. I found this little wooden boat. How adorable is this, guys? One dollar. And I'm gonna dust it up, clean it up a little, price it, and take it down to the booth today and add it to the nautical wall. Now, I do have, I've been trying to find some furniture on mm. Facebook Marketplace, but guys, it's, you know, it's like pulling teeth to get somebody to answer and work with you you know, because you got a day available and a truck available. Let's go get it. And I don't know. One is no response. The other one, you know, it took her hours. Uh, well, actually the whole day to get back with me. So, you know, my husband's back at work. So I can't just go and get it because I need his truck and I need his muscles. A dollar for this. How cute is that? And it's so clean. Another thing that I found at the same uh, garage sale was this. This is actually from Hobby Lobby at $26. It's got the glass in it and they had $3 on that. Some other items that I found was two of these pillows. I've done clean them, uh, air dry. They smell fresh. I use some gain and downy and they smell fresh because I want somebody to walk in my booth and be able to smell fresh items, not, you know, stale items. And these were $2 a piece. And I'm not sure if these are like a little faded on one side and really that anyway, uh, they still have some life and use in them. Got them at $2 a piece and I'm gonna mark them at $8 each. I did find uh, quite a few of these, not just this one. This one looks like the bow. And I'm just going to freshen up and clean it up, dust it up. So, and uh, These little beads are styrofoam and they usually lose. I'm going to take those out and maybe add something different. But I will freshen these up, dust them up. And this was also $2.00. And I'll probably put this in my booth anywhere from eight to twelve dollars. This was a fifty by fifty-seven inch woven throw, and this is for okay. It's got a Christmas scene still in the package, never used. Two bucks, guys. I think everything was two dollars at her garage sale. And I was just so happy to find so many nice items. But I'm not sure what I'll mark this when I haven't done any kind of research or anything. It doesn't have a price that I can see. But anyway, that will also be going in the booth. But it will be going for the Christmas holiday. Right now I'm getting ready for the fall stuff. And I've got totes of uh, stuff that's going to go in there that I no longer use in my home. My husband didn't know what I was gonna do with this. He was sort of puzzled. And I really don't want, I don't want this piece to it. And I don't want this piece to it. So I'm gonna toss those out. But this uh, little dish strainer, uh, I love it. I'm, I don't know, I may leave it black. I may paint it white, but I'm gonna use it in my booth. It was $2. I'm gonna use this in my booth to display dishes and some glassware. And I'll probably set that on the buffet and use it in that way. And that way the dishes are pretty secure for somebody to come and browse through. Another uh, Hobby Lobby item. I don't think they sell these style anymore. They do have their nautical theme, but this one says it was $17.99 and I got it for $2. So I will probably, I don't know, put, oh, I see where my husband dropped it. So I don't know if I can fix that or not. We'll see. It looks like he, dro he dropped it and damaged it. So I don't know, we'll see what I do with that one. That one may just go for cost of what I paid for it. And this was a another one, the same thing, $17.99, got it for $2. This one wasn't dropped. 
Okay, she also had two of these. These were also Hobby Lobby at $20 and two of them at $2 each. So yes, I've got a whole nautical, nautical theme wall where the primitive she was. had this large one and this one was $3. And this one was $30 at Hobby Lobby. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna mark these at, guys. I was just loving her garage sale. This was uh, two fabric tablecloths, 70 inch in diameter. And I believe these are round, round. Two for $2 each. And with the holidays coming up, they will definitely go in my booth. These actually have the pumpkins, so this can go, it's almost a, can you see the color? It's almost got an orangey tint to it. So those are going in for the fall. Also, I found there, there's three of these. I do like the little sunflowers on it, but do you see all the little beads, styrofoam? Uh, those just sort of chip and break off. So I want to take that off and maybe put in either some more leaves or find some fresh beads. And I paid $2 for all of these. Here is the second one, just like that one. This one isn't thick as the others, but it's got a lot of stuff on it. $2 for each one of those. Two of these, she had them tied up and bundled. Maybe they go like that. I wasn't crazy about the green in here, so I'm gonna separate that out. But I'm gonna dust up these little shell-like pods and dust all of that up and then uh, put these in my booth. And they're really gonna look great for fall. And I paid $2 each and I have two bundles. That's what I found over the weekend at the yard sales uh, for this week. However, uh, you're gonna see me put up some items. It's also already been marked and coming from my home that I'm not gonna use. So I'm not ready to put out the fall stuff yet, but I am still putting up the summer items in the booth. So I'm gonna take you along, show you what a mess I'm sure it is when we get there, and then how it's going to look once I get that wall fixed and it straightened back up. Uh, let's just go ahead and get ready and I'm gonna get these items priced and let's take them down to the booth. We're having so much fun with this and I hope that you guys are enjoying uh, going through this journey with us. So let's go ahead and let me get these items marked and let's head to the booth. See you there. This is what the booth looks like today. This side, there's not too much change, uh, not too much missing. Looks like the tear tray is gone on top of the hutch. A few items there, but this wall was just, I think everything that was on it was sold. The two end tables are gone. After Larry and I had worked on this wall a little bit, this is the outcome, and now it has become a nautical wall. Hey guys, just a quick tip. If you get greenery, or even if you have it on hand, and it gets dusty, all you need to do is fill your sink up with some warm, salty water. Swish it around till they're clean. Wrap them in a towel. Take them outside to air dry on the table, not on a breezy day. You don't want them to blow away or you can just leave them on a towel 
on your countertop, in your kitchen, and let them air dry and they look brand new. As you can see how dirty the water was, these were quite dusty. Now, I lost a few leaves and a, a stem. Now, just throw them out or try to put them back on in a place that it needs. And then over here, I've laid them out to dry and they will air dry and they will look as good as new.